Hi everybody, this is Joe Rebello, known to many of you on the internet and martial arts world as Kenpo Joe. Hey, I've got a new acquisition added to my dojo today. I, I picked up a uh, Bob XL. Again, it's the first one we have in our studio. Really excited about it because, again, as you know, Kenpo, one of the most grand obsessed systems in the world, and uh, I'm proudly wearing my uh, my Kenpo Camp shirt from uh, Robert Austin. And um, again, uh, he's a little dirty. He's been, you know, he's a used Bob XL, so he's got some marks and scars and and uh, et cetera, dirt. And, uh, so um, I want to go over video. One thing I didn't find on the internet is how to clean one of these. Now, again, some of you might think, oh, it's obvious, you know. Well, sometimes it's not. So um, we're going to go over a couple of different remedies that you can use to uh, clean up your Bob. Okay, bathe your Bob. Did that come out the right way? Anyway, so uh, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over a couple of different uh, ways that we can clean the bob and see how they work. Now, I, I did something a little bit to the face, and uh, two of the things that I utilized, and we just want to talk to you briefly about. Um, one thing I tried to do was utilize <gasps> glass cleaner, Windex, the commercial name, but uh, using glass cleaner to get some of the superficial dirt out of it. And indeed, it, it did use it a little bit. It did work a little bit. Um, I saw one gentleman online who recommended using... Rubbing alcohol. Um, I really wouldn't recommend this. I didn't find it really did as much as the, actually the glass cleaner did. Um, but, you know, again, they're talking about getting marks off. And again, I, I don't know how well you can see that, but you'll see occasional marks and lines, etc. Um, uh, again, I got this through uh, Facebook Marketplace and was very fortunate that a local martial arts instructor, uh, Gary Raposo, let me know that someone was getting rid of one of them, uh, actually several of them, and one person didn't pick it up as they wanted to, so their loss, my gain. But anyway, so so let's let's talk about Bob for a moment and let's see what we can do to clean him up. Um, first thing I, I utilize is, again, the classic soap and water kind of thing, but instead of soap, uh, I recommend Dawn dishwashing detergent, a mild detergent, to, uh, and let's see how that works. And we're gonna take a little bit, and we're just. And I'm gonna use um, uh, again a pad that's got a little bit of a uh, a hard substance or a scrub on one side, and we're just gonna rub it in and see what comes out, literally. And again, indeed, it, it is it is working in some in some capacity. And again, just scrubbing down the various surfaces, getting it clean as best we can. And then after that, what we're going to do, and again, we really want to put some, the, the scrubbing pad will actually help get some of that, that superficial dirt and grime off the pad. Scrub his face. Wash your face. Hey, wash your face, Bob. Bob, you need to wash your face. Let's stick the thing in his eyes and make wash his face. So again, it is getting rid of some of the superficial dirt and grime. You know, again, you may have to scrub a little bit harder, again, using that scrubbing pad. So after that, we're going to take a white towel, and we're going to wipe his face, and wipe his head, and we're going to see uh, just how much dirt we got off the bob. And uh, it does look somewhat cleaner. Bub. Starts with a B, ends with a B, Bob. Now again, he does look a little cleaner, but as you can see, uh, again, this Bob's fairly light today. I'm gonna bring him a little closer. You can see the marks from uh, different training exercises. Maybe people were using blades on them, rubber knives. You know, there, there are several different things that are possible in regards to that, but, um. You know, it's level one. It, it, it's, and again, you really, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe we can get out some of the marks. I don't think so. But anyway, so that's, that's one way of doing it, just simply using a towel. And as you can see, uh, there is some dirt that came off by uh, washing Bob. And again, we didn't really do it all that thoroughly, all things considered, but at least... It gives us a sample, it gives us an idea of level one in regards to scrubbing Bob and keeping them clean. And again, you might have to do this a few times. You know, make sure that you keep the, the rubber of the, of the Bob clean, scrub it down. 
So that's level one, and that's, that's our first understanding and try to uh, clean poor Baba. Uh, and like I said, it, it, worked, it worked to a small extent, but nothing, nothing's getting really those marks out. Nothing's really getting those, those, those uh, scratches and scratch and dent sale. Hey. So that's level one. So again, eh. So now we look and say, okay, well, if that didn't work, then, then what do we do next? What, what's the next available tool we can use? And again, we're going to take, now we'll take that, uh, that window washer, right? And we're going we're to spray that glass cleaner on there. A little facial hair there, Bob. Puberty kicking in. So again, now we're going to try it with the glass cleaner. And again, we're going to utilize that, again, a little bit of a scrubbing brush to the sponge. And we're going to see if we can get any of that out. Uh, doesn't look too successful. Uh, maybe a little bit. Nah, not really. So unfortunately, 0 for 2. The glass, the glass cleaner really, I mean, like I said, it may work all in all of, uh, you know, helping, uh, you know, obviously clean out the superficial dirt, dust, etc. off of it, but all in all, not really. You might want to use a combination of the two. Now, I know many people saying, why are you working that hard to get, you know, it's a dummy. And I understand that. But there's still maintenance and hygiene that, you know, and hygienic, Bob, uh, that will help assist with the longevity of your particular training dummy. And again, a, a, a little bit dirt coming from that, but it, we've still got those marks. We've still got those lines, et cetera. So uh, uh, the next recommendation, like they mentioned, is uh, rubbing alcohol. So we're going to give it a couple of spritzes here and there. And uh, let's see. Well, wow. Hey, one of them came out. Let's, let's see if there's hope here. Wow. Cup. Yeah, you know what? Um, wow, the rubbing alcohol is actually working. Taking out some of the various marks. So indeed, some of the scratches, marks, and stains are, are actually indeed coming out from that. Now mind you, not all, but, but at least some of them. So some might be a little more superficial than others. And like I said, you might have to put a little elbow grease in or uh, give me a moment. Ninja. Anyway, you might have to utilize a scrubbing pad or a scrubbing brush to assist. But indeed, uh, let's see. There's a couple marks around the chin, different colors. Yeah, I didn't try to put lipstick on them. I'm just telling you, this was somebody else's, not mine. All right, so again, see if you can get some of these uh, marks out. And, uh, you know, it's like I said, some to work with, some not. So let's say you say, okay, well, what's, what's the next level? We've tried soapy water with a mild detergent, dishwashing detergent. We've tried glass cleaner. We've tried uh, rubbing alcohol. What's next? Well, um, if you've got it, 
you might want to try something with a little pumice to it, a little scrubbing to it. Um, the uh, Gojo, uh, again, hand cleaner. It's got a little bit of pumice in it. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to give it a couple of zaps. It's kind of low, so we might actually have to take the top off here. And uh, we'll take a, a little bit of a Gojo. Gojo. Joe's going with the Gojo. Okay, a little dabble do ya. See the uh, consistency of the uh, cleaner, and uh, let's see if this does any good. Again, a little, 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 little again, combining that with the uh, sponge scrubbing, and we're gonna scrub a little bit and see if this works. I feel the pumice. Yeah, I don't really see it doing much of anything, to tell you the truth. But uh, wait, wait, let's see here, maybe. Maybe no. So uh, again, not really, not really doing much. And again, dry it off. Again, if you don't feel like using a regular towel, paper towels, one dollar at the dollar store. But again. It is cleaner than it was before. But again, we still have these some of these dark marks and uh, I can even still feel some residual uh, pumice from the Gojo. But, you know, you clean what you can clean. Uh, the next level I would recommend, and I'm not going to really do this until I talk to uh, Century directly on this. Um, the next level I would recommend to get rid of these, and I, I don't have it handy right in front of me, but I would recommend Goo Gone, also known as nail polish remover. And just take a little dab, take a little Q-tip, dab one of them, see if it, if it removes the stain from it, because I don't know how it will affect the rubber of, uh, again, the rubber material of the Bob, or Bob XL. Uh, but that's something else you might want to try. And again, just clean it up. Uh, just take a couple of simple off camera again. Ninja. So, paper towels, dirt cheap. It's a dollar. What is it? How much is it at the dollar store? It's a dollar. Right? That's the old joke. Um, dirt, folks. So, you know, again, you're gonna. it's going to take a little while to clean it up. Uh, a little maintenance on the bob goes a long way. Uh, again, we'll do another video in the near future about uh, utilizing a nail polish remover and see if it does take out some of the, the slashes, stabs, and the different uh, discolorations on the bob. But uh, overall, that's again, I can't find anything that really discusses this particular aspect of cleaning the bob and maintaining your bob or bob XL or any generic version thereof dummy. So I thought I'd take a couple of moments and put this out. Hey, in the comments section, uh, Put, if you've gotten some advice or, or other uh, uh, different, uh, again, cleaning agents that you use successfully on the Bob, please let me know. And uh, I really appreciate it. So uh, here I am with my buddy Bob. My buddy Bob. Bob XL. I'm um, really psyched to have him here. So again, we can wham! Utilize that Campo staple, that humiliating hit to the crotch. Hey. Makes me happy. How about you? All right. Anyway, so this is uh, Joe Rebello, Kempo Joe. I hope you've got something out of this video. I'd like to get your insights as uh, studio owners or uh, Bob owners. And uh, let me know what you think. Talk to you soon. Until next time, keep training.